What up everybody, this is Sebastian here again. Today's my next installment in the Care Guide series. This episode is gonna be about the guppy. When you think damn, what is this? That's us. Make it speak as bam when it hits like what? Give it some jams with that west side stuff. Everybody hands in the air straight up. Put them to the sky so high now jump. Play us something crazy when that bass line bump. We just getting started with that beat going crazy. The native guppy habitats are found in South and Central America, where guppies inhabit freshwater as well as brackish environment. The guppy has been introduced to several other parts of the world by man to control mosquito populations. In Asia, guppies have been deliberately introduced to many regions in an effort to decrease the amount of mosquito growth. The guppy is often called the million fish because of the rate at which they breed. Guppies are known as live bearers and this means that they do give birth to live young. A female can lay eggs up to three different times on one same sperm fertilization, each and every pregnancy laying up to a couple hundred baby fry. This makes for very quick reproducing numbers of these fish. Even though the lifespan is not as entitled as some larger fish, they do make up in numbers of population. The guppy is one of the most popular aquarium fish due to its easy living habitat and cosmetic beauty. Guppies give off small bio load and waste level set they can make for a tremendous pet fish. Not two guppies have the same coloration or design. The wide variety of hybrid breeds make these fish super popular. These beautiful fish can be kept in community tanks. A 20 gallon long would be perfect for a large group, but you can keep these guys in 10 gallons. In the aquarium trade, you will find a broad selection of different guppy types. These can range from fancy fantail guppies, mosaic guppies, veil tail guppies, grass guppy, lace guppies, double sword tail guppies, and many more. Guppies are also found in the community aquariums, but guppies with long and flung fins can be harassed by fin nippers and should not be combined with such fish. The popular mollies are, for instance, renowned for nipping fins. Guppies should ideally be kept in groups and in a well-planted aquarium since they make them less shy and reduce the amount of stress towards the fish. The recommended temperature for a guppy is 75 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit, and the pH level should ideally be between 6.8 to 7.6. Guppies are also often overfed by inexperienced aquarists since guppies quickly learn how to beg for food at the surface. Restrict the feedings to once or twice a day and remove any food that has not been eaten within five minutes. Overfeeding can cause health problems in guppy and also leave an adverse effect on the water quality. A high quality flake food will provide your guppies with a good dietary base, The flakes should ideally be combined with other types of foods to create a varied diet. As I always say, a varied diet is key, guys. You can, for instance, give your guppies live brine shrimp, since brine shrimp is very easy to raise at home in a jar. Chopped up earthworms could also be highly appreciated, and I always recommend Hikari microwafers for any community type fish like the guppy. If a guppy lives to give birth in a fry in an aquarium, you can feed the fry different types of ground fry food, made specifically for that um, purpose, or you can feed them liquid fry food. You can look up more of these options online. These guys are just great fish on a personal note, and I love them. I've always had some of these guys, and just make great fish. Great for your first tropical fish, great for kids, um, and it's also very fun to watch them reproduce. And it would make a great science project for like a classroom or something to show you how um, fish breed. Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode of the Care Guide series, um, and I'll see you guys later. Sebastian out.